Hello, buongiorno, bonjour, guten tag, namaste, marhaba. Good day to you, trader. This is Mario from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. In today's video, I will share with you some observations I made related to the results of projections of price into time. There is an incredible accuracy of forecasting future reversal points based on important tops or bottom of the market in the past. So let's start the rock and roll. So I've got prepared two examples. I've determined two important reversal points of Euro USD in the past. There is 24th of June 2019, when was the local important top, and another one which is 31st of December 2019. And based uh, using square of 9 and my secret formula, I have projected these two dates into the future. I think W.D. Gann used similar formula in his methods of trading because the results are really amazing. There is also a similar method of projection of time into time or time into price, but it's not for today. Maybe I will show it to you sometime in the future. So these are my two projections uh, of t price into time. The first one is based on 24th of June 2019. The second one is based on 31st of December 2019, as I told you, and is based on those two local tops, important from my point of view. And I marked the maximum level of the price, which is here, it was over here, it was this one, I think it was 113696, uh, or is it close place, 113.19. That's, that's the price, that's the price at that date. And another one, the price is uh, 112.39. I moved the decimal point, as I told you in my previous uh, uh, one of my previous videos in calculating W the gun square of 9 is really useful. So I got these two prices. The first one, the first uh, forecast is based on fixed hours, so it's based on midnight, just the beginning of first candle of the day, uh, this one. So every one of these dates is candle 000. zero, zero. And another forecast, I've shown my formula here, I just don't want to reveal it straight away. I'll talk later about it. And the other one, the forecast is fixed up to the minute, as you can see over here. So the first one is uh, zero, 00 as a time as the other one is up to the minute. So I'll show you on 15 minutes, M15 chart, how it works. But let's start from the first one. Uh, what I would st still say about it, well, if you want to learn more about how to calculate these dates, I can teach you in private tutorial eventually. If you want to, just write me an email to fxotherway at yahoo.com and I will teach you all the details, how to do it, and give you an exact guidance step by step how you can forecast these amazing points. And I will explain you the way it works and how to filter it. So just drop me, drop me a line. So I got these two dates. Let me show you straight away on the chart how it looks. The first one is this one. So this is the starting date. And the lines I got over here, let me show you how it looks. I've got this result. So the first one, 21st, of, uh, 21st 27th of October, which is 21st and 27th was Sunday, so this is 28th. Next one is November 1st, 7th, 13th, 19th, 25th. So it's 1st, 7th. 
2013, was it 13? Yes, it was 13, uh, 13, 19, and 25th. So it's 13th, this is uh, 19th, and this is 25th. Then we've got December, and December is, um, where is December? We've got 2nd, 8th, 14th, 21st, 28th. So we got five dates, 2nd, 9th, 8th uh, was a Sunday, the next one is 16th, because 14th was Saturday, 20th and 27th, 28th was Saturday, I think. So, and then, and so on, and so on. This is the way you can find these prices in in WD Gans forecast is exactly the same way I found this formula well uh, pretty long ago and it works. Just just want to show you accuracy of it, but let's change it to the four hours chart because on daily chart obviously some of them hit the price exactly like here on four hour chart it will look much better. So it's starting at hour zero zero zero. So this is the first one, 21st of October. This is 28th. It is exact first candle of the day. So the next one is 1st of November, 7th, 13th, and so on. It's 19th of uh, November. As you see, it works really, really well. Amazing. Knowing this formula, knowing how to do it, you can predict all those highs and lows you might have seen in other mm, other works of uh, W.D. Gann, some of his letters. Also, it's related to coffee letter, but it's not the subject of this video. So as you see, quite a lot of turning points over here. They are not all exact as they should be, but the important dates, 20th of March, it's been hit. Remember, it, this forecast has been made based on 24th of June 2019. And look exactly, 20th of March, it was hit. 27th of March, not exactly up to the top, but 6th of April was hit. Here was another one. And so on. 1st of May, it was, it was zero, 00 over here, so just starting point. This is on for our chart. This is also 1st of May, but as a general rule, it works. The longer time frame, the more precise it is. And here, look, all these dates shown here, even, even this 11th of May, was also a hit because you remember the market started rising. Some local turning points are over here. And 16th of June as well, turning point. Another one, 26th of June. And from here, the market started to rally again. Here's some local reversals. And we are now at 4 of August. Today is 7th of August. Friday, important thing which is here is, just let me show you, I've got it somewhere here, just forget about these uh, two uh, lines, I just mark it here, how to work. We got 4th of 8th, uh, it happened three days ago, as you might see, there was that one, is zero, 00, so this is also 4th of August, it's shown local turning point. Another one falls on 14th of August by this forecast, which is somewhere, somewhere not very far in the future. Seven. So within a week, next Friday, we got next possible turning point. It's, uh, it should be, it should work. We'll see. Uh, now let me show you another one. Another one is based on 15 minutes chart. Our starting date was, as you remember, I told you 31st of December 2019. Oh, for, let's uh, hide this one because you don't need it at the moment. This one you don't need neither. 
and how it looks like. That's the forecast. So that was the starting point. The price was here, recalculated into the time is here. 27th of April 2020, 520, the first one, 27th of April. Let me show you. This this that's the one. It's over here. It's up to the minute because it's the candle started at 515. So the next one is uh, 2nd of May 1702, which 2nd of May was Saturday, I think. 2nd of May is here, 1st of May is here, 2nd of May starts here. So this was the local turning point, local reversal on f on 2nd. It's marked, it just started a day earlier. It's due to the orb I told you in my other videos about, uh, about uh, planetary movement and influence over the price. 8th of May is the next one, which is here somewhere. As you see, is somewhere local top. I will show it to you right now, and so on and so on. It's going like that. But good thing is, when you change it to four-hour chart, it looks already much better. So you might see on four-hour chart, it's really precise. Not every one of these, but the important ones are like here, like here. Even like here, we had a small correction, but the market didn't fall over here, just, just started this rally. And another one here, here on 19th of June. Next one, next one, next one. They are all projected into the future based on 31st of December 2019. And look, it shows all these points. In this way, you can do highs and lows as I haven't marked it here. I think what was, what date was that? Was uh, 31st of seven. And the next one is eight of August, which means tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday, which might happen that today was a top of the market or today was a bottom of the market and the market will continue. There is a way of filtering it, but I'm not going to talk about it today. That's a very simple way of projecting the future reversal points in the market. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are interested. Maybe I will do another video how to project uh, time into time, as I told you at the very beginning, is also very interesting. And as well, uh, you can determine based on time, you can determine pivot points in the future. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about calculating these reversal points, just write me an email. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care and bye bye.